and welcome to No Technical Season. It's Saturday the 10th of December and I've just decided it's seven o'clock now so it's a bit late. I'm just leaving uh, my hometown and I'm going to go camping somewhere, uh, somewhere where I can just ride my bike a bit. It's no bike park, just a gravel ride. Um, I'm either going to go to Mount Grania State Park or Lawson State Park, I think. Uh, we'll see how time goes. Now, um, as I say, it's just hit seven o'clock. It gets dark around half eight, so it's at least an hour's journey. So I need to get a wriggle on. The 10th of December is not a good day for me. Uh, two years ago today, I saw Mitzi Manuka a foster puppy for the last time. I'm struggling to get over the loss of her. I have big regrets of letting her go. I should have kept her myself. Um, anyway, if you'd like to look at the video, I'll link it up here or up there, I'm not sure where. Molster and the Cortico. Anyway, let's see how this impromptu camping slash cycling ride goes. So I've arrived at um, Mount Lawson State Park. So I'm gonna set up my tent, I think, just here. I'm sure it's not going to rain, but I put my tarp up anyway. It's done a whole lot better. It's sort of suddenly come to me. So I've got quick release knots. Hi, it's around two o'clock in the morning. I'm outside at the moment. There's a beautiful moon tonight. I don't know if I captured any of it. I'll chuck some photos on here if I didn't capture any film. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful um, but also there's possums in these trees and uh, I've just been filming those. morning it's around six o'clock in the morning um, the mozzies have started already my legs are on fire from all the bites I got last night they're just bitten all over my calves are really itchy I need to think about what I'm going to do because I um, in my rush I didn't get a map or any download apart from the offline downloads, which are useless, of um, this state park. So I don't know what the fire roads uh, layout is. I'm ever so tired because those <laughs> the animals kept me up last night and it really wasn't comfortable. I was just sleeping on my um, Thermarest Z-Lite and uh, it's really sore on my hips. <laughs> so uh, next time I have to remember to bring the air bed. Just here is the toilet. Oh, that's good. Yeah, nothing too scary in there. Anyway, this is my camp. Um, I'm slightly off again with <laughs> getting my tent directly under the tarp. But I'm learning. It was so much easier for me to put it up this time. So I'm just having my coffee and then I'll get going, do something. Go for a bike ride here, I think. Uh, it'll only be a short one because um, I'm not sure this fire road goes anywhere. So I've just left the car and I'm just taking a ride on the fire road. Guess which nincompoop? didn't check the weather forecast because it's gone overcast, dark clouds, I don't know what's going on. So this little trail just goes in a loop back to the camping ground. Oh and it's just started raining, I don't think it's going to be heavy 
but you can see what happened to the sky. Okay, so I have decided I am going to do the Valley View walk, the short walk. While I'm here, I might as well do something. I have gaiters on and they should give me a small amount of protection from snake bites. Valley View walk. It says the track is well marked. It says horses are prohibited and it says motorbikes are prohibited, but not bikes. So I'm thinking I could have brought Stumpy, but I'm not going to, I'm gonna get moving. Visitor intention book, that's a good idea. It's not common around here. The last person here was December the 3rd, Wade from Wodonga. So it's the 11th of 1222. So far, I haven't spoke to you soon, but the trail is very well marked. Got a face full of spider. Yuck. Oh, I think it's gone. It's not actually very clear where you've got to go. So, where do I go? I don't know. I'm guessing here. I've gone the right way, that thank God. Wow, the view's getting better and better. Beautiful. Look at that boulder balancing. Amazing. I think this might be it. Valley view. Right, let's go to the top then. Right now, how you actually get up here, I'm not sure. Yeah, this is quite uh, silly to be doing this since no one knows I'm here. Yeah, not bad. They've made it to the top of Valley View. Got a bit of a sweat on. So you scramble to the top of this massive boulder. Um, and I'm guessing down here, I'm guessing that's the Murray River. I'm not sure what this peak is. I will look it up. So that was Valley View. Very nice. Let's get back. I was just about, I was just now contemplating going down here and up onto this one. And I realize now that would be stupid. 
Now, one thing I haven't told you is I have new shoes on. My Ultra Lone Peaks, they're only a year old, but I've worn them a lot and for mountain biking as well as hiking. And I think they're just at the end of their life. So I don't want zero drop, so I've got these. They're Topo, I think that's how you pronounce them, Topo Ultra Ventura Pro. Um, and they're not zero drop, they've only got a five mil uh, raised heel, but um, they've got a big toe box and they've got a stiffer, a much stiffer sole, I think I'd be right in saying, than the Lone Peaks. So uh, let's see how they go. And I'll do a review on them once I know uh, a bit more about them. My legs are covered in mozzie bites. I don't know if you can see them. Even my bum's got mozzie bites. If you wonder why I'm walking like an old lady, it's A, because I am one, and B, because I don't want to get injured, because Christmas is in two weeks, and I have plans. I managed to get a little bit of a phone signal at the top. Um, the only map I could download anything from was Komoot, so I just downloaded a little loop End of the trail, back at the tent. Hi, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm back from my hike to Valley View. That was really worth doing. Um, it does get a bit steep and rocky, uh, so I would recommend having um, walking poles if you're gonna do it, for on the way down mainly, um, because the ground is quite loose. There is a problem here, ants. I thought they were bad enough last night, but um, but yeah, they're getting absolutely everywhere. They crawl up your leg. They're trying to get in the tent, so I'm having to keep flicking them out. Um, yeah, they're a pain in the butt, so uh, I've had to get in my tent to be able to just have something to eat. And I'm not going to do much because I just don't want to um, be here with them because <laughs> they're really annoying. I'm leaving Mount Lawson State Park now. And I'm going to turn right back onto the Murray Valley Highway to see if there's anything uh, further down this road. I've just stopped off at this Murray Riverside um, camping area. It's sort of been blocked off, I think, because of the floods. There's some temporary closures, but people have gone by them anyway. As you can see, this has all been in flood. That water looks very inviting. Turned off the Murray Valley Highway now. I've got to this turn in here, which is a gravel road. I was hoping if I turned right here and then somewhere else right, I could get into Mount Lawson State Forest. So the road is here, and I'm thinking another right would take me back into Mount Lawson. Um, I really want to ride my bike somewhere, so I'm going to go back. Let's see if I can find the route I plotted on Kamut. I might be able to find it and just ride a little bit of it. This is the track I plotted on Kamut. So just after the campsite I was in, uh, the Kurajongs on the left uh, is this turn in, but it looks it looks like you're turning on to private property. You have to go through a farmyard. It gets a little bit rough um, and narrow. And there was another gate. And I, I really didn't want to go through it because I feel like I'm being a bit foolish. I'm going to end up trapped um, because there was quite a dip down there that I struggled to get through. So I'm going to park the car here. Go for a little ride. 
Okay, so I'm on Stumpy. It's had a bit of a result. I just turned the car around. The only scary bit is getting down a bit of a dip again. I just hope I get down that all right and I'll be okay as long as I don't get a puncture or something. Um, anyway, I was just packing, unpacking my car and down the hill came the farmer lady on an ATV and she was bloody great. She was telling me very excited about that someone's come to see around here. Uh, she said, just shut the gates after you and told me there's a waterfall and a, swim, a swimming pool area. So uh, I'll make my way up to there, I think. There's a lot of flies. My front derailleur has give up the ghost. Oh, it's got a rock stuck in it. I haven't been going up this hill long, but I'm totally worn out. Totally lost all my energy. Oh, it's slippery as well. I'm still making my way up this hill. I've only just started it and I'm absolutely whacked. Uh, perhaps um, after doing that hike, I shouldn't do this. I'll see how much further I can go. I'm just having a rest. I don't know where my energy's just gone. I've been drinking loads, I've got a headache though. So I've obviously not drunk enough. I better drink a bit more. <laughs> okay, I've bonked. Um, I just can't go any further. I'm perhaps halfway there. The annoying thing is, I just realized, I didn't bring my crash hat. So I'm gonna have to ride down really slowly. That was going to be the one consolation, <laughs> riding down fast. Damn. So I'm going to ride down slowly. The waterfall will keep to another time. I know it's here now, but I think I've just overdone it. Um, doing the hike as well. So I'm going to make my way down and go home. Another failure for me. I'm good at failure. I don't mind, it's not the end of the world. But I would have liked to have seen the falls and have a swim in the pool. That would have been nice. Down we go, slowly. Been great to thunder down. Ugh. How did I forget my hat? Did you? Hi, I'm back at the car now. Um, I'm not feeling great to be honest. I don't know if I've overdone it, whether I'm coming down with something or have an underlying problem, but I feel terrible. Um, I am very hot. I have drunk a lot. I have drunk at least two litres this morning, I think. Um, and and I had um, a fizzy thing in it. So I'm just gonna have a cup of coffee, get myself together and try and get off this road because <laughs> there is a bit of a hard bit um, coming up next. Um, I got through it all right one way, but it doesn't mean you get through it the other way. So uh, I might just go and have a, a reconnaissance mission have a look at it. I've got to drive my car over this. So if I keep to the right and go really slow, this is what I'm worried about. Bottoming out on that. Could do with knocking this edge off, couldn't it? Or building up the stones. Or am I being counterintuitive in a dipstick? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, 
I have to get my little two-wheel drive jalopy up that. I meant to show you the farm, but I forgot to turn the camera on. So I've just, I'm just coming to the exit and it looks like you're going into a farm, but in actual fact, it's the fire road. There's a very gentle rain falling now. No second season shocker. Ange fails at a task. <laughs> I'm rubbish, aren't I? So, all in all, I've had a nice little 20 hour trip, uh, impromptu. Uh, so I wasn't well prepared. Um, clearly not got my thinking head on, forgetting my bike helmet. Um, what a nincompoop. I'll be back for sure. I can't wait to see that waterfall. I didn't get the farmer lady's name. She was so nice. And um, hopefully I'll see her again when I come back. Oh, 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 I can see something running on the side. There's, um, I've seen two dead wombats on this road. Not nice. Um, I just saw something running through the bush to my left. I thought it was gonna run out on me, but it hasn't. So over here is a well and truly dead wombat. I've got to move him. Yeah, I'm gonna move him. <laughs> Um, right, so that one bat is dead, it stinks. I need to find something to move it with. Oh, it's full of maggots. This has been here forever. Anyway, I won't film me moving it. That was actually quite easy. I just got the stick under the middle of its tummy and dragged it to the uh, verge. It's absolutely rotten. There's so many creatures coming out of it. But anyway, poor thing. It's very sad indeed, and that's a wombat. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a live one, to be honest. Really sad. Anyway, he's, uh, he's safe now. Poor darling. So this trip today has moved my wanting of a 4x4 uh, vehicle up the priority list. Um, it was really foolish of me to take this uh, school run, front wheel drive, um, car down that fire road today. I could have got in all sorts of trouble with no phone signal, no one knew I was there, no one around except that farm for miles and they were going out, they were going to um, East Gippsland for the rest of the weekend. So um, yes, four by four, it's moved up the list. I better start saving my pennies after Christmas. Anyway, I shall close this video here and until next time, it's goodbye for now.